Welcome back to another video. If you watched my video, I think it was like three or four vlogs ago, and you'll know that I made a video setting up my new Zwift setup, and I did it in the other shed over there. But that shed over there is technically the car shed, and this is, as you can see, this is technically the bike shed. So today's mission is to clean up this entire shed and make it into the Cycling Tom headquarters. So we set up these two hooks about, I think it might have been three or four years ago. So basically the capacity of the shed at the moment is only two bikes. And a little spoiler alert, I've got two bike builds coming to the channel soon, so I want to set up this area just here as like a little mechanics area and a little bike building area. All right, so the rough plan is that these hooks here are way, way too spaced apart. So I'm probably, so I'm probably gonna take this far hook out and then I'm gonna put four or five hooks in to see how many bikes we can get in. Because once these two new bikes are built, we're gonna need way more space to hang them all. And then in this area here, I've already got my um, old S-Works McLaren TT helmet hanging here, but I was thinking we'll get both the TT helmets hanging on this racks here, and then get rid of all this stuff and have just the road helmets hanging here. And then we're gonna clear off this entire shelf here, move that all out, and then I reckon we'll put all of the cycling shoes and then extra little bits and bobs up there as well. So I'm thinking we're gonna clear off this little shelf and we're gonna set this up as like with all the tools and all the mechanic gear right here. All right, and then this other side of the shed is where things are gonna get a little bit more complicated. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the TV here and run my Zwift with my bike. With whatever bike I wanna use on Zwift, just basically just have it sitting here, TV, and then all set up there. And then basically the rest of this area just needs to be sorted out and organized with all of the Copeland stuff, because this is the Copeland's tent. This is like all the banners and stuff. Got all the chiller bags, I think there's some pumps in there, but basically there's just a lot of stuff from Team Copeland's that needs to be actually organized and put in a place that we can get it when the season comes around. All right, so the first job is basically just gonna be clearing out this entire right hand side of the shed. So I've just completely taken everything out of here, cleared out this. I've got all the pre and post race seats, like those foldable chairs, they're all under there. So the next thing to do is to move all the Zwift set up and put it all on here. Neo 2, I've brought that over. I've also got the TV that I run the Zwift on, and I've brought that over as well. And in typical Cycling Tom fashion, I didn't check if there were any um, power outlets in this garage, but luckily there's just one power outlet, but it's all the way over here, so I'm gonna have to run this cable basically the whole length of here just to get this on. got the full Zwift set up, all set up in here. And it's so much more spacious in here. There's just so much more room to actually like get into a Zwift session. And because it's in the outside garage, not so worried about getting sweat on the ground either. All right, the next item on the agenda is putting on another bike rack into the wall just up there. And apparently this is the only drill we have. This is a 56 year old Black & Decker drill that my granddad got on his 21st birthday. And according to him, this is a family heirloom, so I'm gonna try not to break it. Whoa, well, okay, hold on, we need a little bit of safety first. All right, that's better. Well, 
All right, and now we check if we're actually gonna get any bikes up here. And there we go, three bikes on the wall, and there's another hook up here, which I think I'm gonna try and chuck my wheels on. All right, so I still need to track down one more hooks because I only have one, I put the C50s up there for now. But if I get one more hook, I can get the C75s up there as well and then they're out of the way and not just sitting on the ground. But for now, they can just sit right here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run the TT helmets along these little hooks here and then we're gonna run all the road helmets down here. And there we have it. The garage is coming along quite nicely. We've got all the bikes up here, wheels, wheels and then we've got the SRX McLaren TT helmet, we've got my POC TT helmet, we've got this old shitty specialized helmet that I found in here. I literally just put it there because it looks cooler to have three. I've got the SRX Evade which is this um, like red triathlon one that we had and then obviously the white POC helmet that I wear all the time. Obviously when I get this up and running I'm not going to keep this helmet here. I, I do own another um, red and white Cas Cortone but Stacy has commandeered that at the moment and it's not here so I'm just putting this up here for now. Alright we are slowly getting there so the next section to deal with is here. We're going to move this green green contraption all the way to the back of the garage and then I'm going to put that little table that I had my Zwift set up in the other shed, I'm going to bring that into here and then we're going to set up all the tools on there and then I think we're going to put the cycling shoes up there. So I've just got some of my normal tools out. So basically, we have a look. So I've got basically, we've got tubes, we've got like a puncture repair kit for the tubulars, we've got some degreaser, carbon brake pads, we've got some useless Allen keys, we've got some star heads, we've got basically a full kit there, and then just a whole bunch of random ones in there. We've got a wet and a dry lube over here, and then this is the front mount that I use for my GoPro when I do my downhill attempts, and then this is the little rear one that goes on the back of my seat when I do my race videos. All right, so I've got my two little cassette tools here. So obviously, you've got the chain whip, and this is the tool to get the Shimano cassette sets off because that's what I use. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and find a place in this wall where I can put two nails so I can just hang them nicely on the wall. Alright, so we've got the cassette tools now hanging up with my perfect nailing. So that's basically the tool section for now. I need to head up to Lasky's bike store and when I get there I'm probably going to get myself a few derailleur cables and a few brake cables as well and, just, and then have them all stocked up and I'm probably just going to hang them all along here. So we're almost finished. So down here I've just got a few extra parts that are just sitting in there which I don't need. That box is just full of all of our race bottles. Alright, that is basically the whole bike shed all set up. So this is obviously just the start. So as soon as I get another bike, we're going to have to sort out how we put another bike up, down, up, down, just so we can try and get a few more bikes up here. There's still a few more tools that I'd like to add to my tool collection so that when I do end up getting the frame and, end up, and then I do end up building up that new bike for the garage that I have everything I don't have to kind of go back and forth and get Maddie to help me. I want to try and build this bike on my own. So yeah, I think I spent like the last three or four hours doing this so, so I should probably end this video and try and go do some training. And if you've got any suggestions to what you think I should do in this space or over in that space by the Zwift setup, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm really keen to try and make this to be like the new cycling Tom headquarters. So yeah, leave me a comment down below if you've got any ideas. All right, that is going to end today's video. We are getting so, so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing and hit that button down below.